I'm Evan from Race Tech Electric. We're going to do a quick video for you showing our billet aluminum kill switch. Uh, it fits uh, pretty much every dirt bike out there. And you could use it on street bikes, uh, anything you need a momentary switch for. It works great as a kill switch for just about anything. So we've got a CRF450 here with the damaged kill switch. Um, this, uh, this one's been put back together, but it's in real bad shape. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it. It's real simple. Uh, it's routed down here. Your kill switch plugs on most dirt bikes. I can't speak for all of them, but especially the CRFs are right here along the left side of the neck. Um, this switch is broken. You can see the wire's been cut. It's in bad shape. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug it here, pull it apart. We're going to remove the old switch, which most of them would not be installed like this, but this uh, was a desert fix to keep the bike rideable for the weekend. But this does uh, not look good, too good. So anyways, I'm going to pull off the old switch. You would do the same on your bike. Remove the backing plate, pull the old switch off, pull the wires back out. Now we'll show you the new billet switch. Here's our new billet kill switch. Real nice billet aluminum housing. Uh, it's got a rubber seal on it so it's waterproof. No worries for rain or anything. Not going to hurt it. Uses two Allen bolts to mount it, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those. I'm going to put it back on the bike. So, set it on the bars. Go ahead and feed, and we're going to route the wires back through the way they were. And plug them in down here. And I'll zip tie this up out of the way. So that's that. Now you got a brand new billet kill switch. This bike's ready to ride. They're available on our website at www.racetechelectric.com. So Check right. them out. But when I know we got our new kill switch installed, let's test it.